Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stella. I want to talk about seven key attributes. This is for single guys. Seven key attributes you should have before you even start dating or choosing a woman to marry. Number one, top on the list is your relationship with God as a single guy. If you don't know your God, you don't have a relationship with Jesus, he doesn't guide you, you don't read your Bible, you don't spend enough time to pray. Even though you are a Christian, you just go to church, you know, go to church, go to fellowship, it's not good enough. You need the word of God in you so that you can build your marriage to come on a sol solid foundation of Christ. Number two, <clears throat> and not a hundred percent whole. You cannot give that to the wife you're going to marry. Your relationship might become toxic. Number three, you need as a man, if you are still depending on your mother to cook clean for you, to, to take care of your mess. You come from work, you throw your things around, your socks is in the living room, you eat, and your mother has to pick away, or, or your colleague, or whoever you're living with. If you're still living at home, or you're living with friends, <clears throat> and you don't do anything, your house is a mess, it's not good enough, you're not ready for marriage. You need to take pride in cleaning your environment. Start with your bedroom, your bed. Make your bed when you wake up in the morning. Take care of yourself. Cook for your own food. Do your own laundry. Some of you don't even know where the buttons are. You need to do that because now you're going to be heading a home. You're going to have a wife. You're going to have children. Don't expect to marry a magician of a woman, a super woman like your mother, who is going to cook clean, go to work, do school run, and do everything. And you think the only job for you as a husband is to go to work, pay the bills, or part of the bills. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sorry to bust your bubble. It's not going to work. Some men can't even keep, some single guys, they get married six months, the marriage is over. Because they're behaving like babies. That brings up to my next one, which is maturity. You have to be a matured individual to get married. If you're still a baby in your mind, it's, not, it's, it's regardless of age. You could be 24 and very matured, very wise for your age. And you could be 35 and still behaving like a kid, like a boy. Which are you? Not all, I tell the girls, I say not all men, not all single guys are husbands. Some are just boyfriend material. Is that who you are? If you're a boyfriend, please don't ask a woman to marry you. If you're a, mat if you're a, if you're a matured guy who is ready to deal with, bring somebody else into their life, ready to make room in their life, ready to accommodate, ready to love, ready to care, then that's, you are the guy. Are you ready to talk and to listen? Or are you just ready to talk and move on? So you, you say your own mind, there's an argument, you just say your own, and when your girlfriend or, or the woman you want to marry starts talking, you switch off. As far as you're concerned, you are the man, you know, and every, anything you say stands. She should just suck it up. No, she's created by God. She's an individual. She has emotions. She has a wide range of emotions, very emotional. So you have to be ready to deal with that. Are you ready? You need to be able to speak freely and openly about your about your emotions, how you feel about things without being judgmental, you know, without being uh, a judge, an executioner. You want to find out about her past. You've got to ask in a way that doesn't sound judgmental and you're not going to use it to, you know, laugh at her, you know, later on. Are you a, par the next point is you, you have, you cannot be a paranoid person and get married. It will not work. Because you will just make another person's child miserable. You, how do you deal with? How do you handle jealousy? How do you do with trust? You have to. Are you somebody who is paranoid? If you are paranoid, you are going to be seeing things that are not there sometimes, you know. And so the woman you marry, or the it has to be somebody, you know. You know that you can go to bed with your two eyes closed. Another point is: Are you a violent person? Are you a temperamental person? Does your jealousy lead to violence? Are you, have you been known to slap a girl you are in a relationship with? If you are, please, I'm begging you, go and get, uh, <clears throat> go and get help. You need therapy, okay? So, and um, are you, do you have the ability to forgive? If you are somebody who keeps malice, marriage is not for you. You need to learn how to forgive. This is what I'm talking about, your relationship with God. So, I, I think I'm giving you like seven points. Most importantly, choose based on who God is chooses for you don't go choosing with your eyes a lot of people have married people who they think physically you know 
models, beautiful package. They didn't even get to know the girl. They get into the marriage. She's devoid. She's empty inside, devoid of emotional intelligence, devoid of compassion, devoid of even taking care. She doesn't know how to take care of the house. Nothing works. All you have is the good sex life. And then your marriage phew, disappears or you are miserable and you spend more time at work. It's a lifetime commitment. You make a covenant with God and with the wife. So I pray that with these points, you work on yourself as an individual, as a man, before you decide, you know what, I need to marry. So I pray God will give you a blessed, happy, wonderful marriage in Jesus' name. May you make a woman and the, your, your family to come a blessed one in Jesus' name. Until next time, like, share, subscribe, find my books online, follow me on DSLR TV on TikTok, and on, you know, subscribe if you haven't, and, and also on Instagram. Take care. God bless.